Many are wondering whether Premier Lai's plan to help the economy by raising the wages of public employees will actually make a difference. One National Taiwan University professor believes that most civil servants and teachers would save most of the wage hike they receive and inject relatively little of it back into the economy. This student prepares more than a hundred drinks a day. Her boss already pays her more than the minimum hourly wage. But in the future, she may get paid more. The government has increased wages a little, so I think consumers will increase the amount they spend. I think that will definitely happen. If our sales go up, we'll definitely raise the wages of our employees. There are some companies that will follow the government's move to raise the wages of public employees. But there's skepticism that these hikes will improve Taiwan's low-wage environment. To be perfectly honest, if I were to compare, I think the impact of raising the minimum wage would be far greater than raising public employee salaries and hoping private companies voluntarily follow suit. Associate Professor Xin Binlong of National Taiwan University also doubted that the public employee pay rise can stimulate domestic consumption. If you increase wages by 100 NT, the lower a person's income, the more likely they are to spend a high percentage of the increase, about 60 to 70 percent of it, or even higher. But for people with higher incomes, like civil servants, if you give them a 100 NT raise, they may only spend 30 NT of that, especially after the recent pension reform plan. Many working civil servants see that their retirement benefits will be cut and are increasing their savings at this point in time. Premier Lai Qingde has taken a first step to give the economy a boost, but there are real questions whether it will in fact have the intended effect.